Hey, we're in the Go Hunt warehouse. Uh, you can see we have a giant collection of boots. In my opinion, this is the largest collection of Western hunting boots uh, that I've ever had a chance to look at. What we essentially did is we went out and we looked at all the different boots across the market, boots that we would consider potentially bringing into the gear shop and we just bought samples and we wanted to try them out and test them. You can see we've got them all assembled. So, you know, yesterday and today, uh, Jared and I, a lot of the guys in the office are just working through all these different boots, kind of seeing what we like and don't like, and ultimately what we'll end up bringing to you guys in the Go Hunt gear shop. We've got boots that we currently carry. We got boots that we're potentially thinking about carrying. And basically we're just spending uh, a couple days just pouring over boots and looking at everything footwear and, and ultimately just deciding what we want in our Go Hunt gear shop. We think that there's some excellent options on the market available to people. We wanted to explore all of them, look in all the nooks and crannies from all the different companies and and just bring you guys the best boots on the market. I love these. I have a pair. I really like them. But they just they don't sell very good. Is it a color thing? Is it just like no exposure to them? I think it's very little. Nobody knows about yep. them? Yeah, I don't think we've done any marketing on them. All of them are stupid light. Michelin outsole like you guys are talking about. Yep. What boots are these? This is a Mamu Dukan. Dukan yeah. High GTX. And they make the same boot with like a internal gator. You can see it there. Should we make Neville put this on? <laughs> it's his size. I like these uh, lacing. They're surprisingly a lot stiffer than I thought they would be. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they definitely have more support than they're comfy. For sure. Tacky. I think it's a sweet boot. Yeah. This would be a great like scrambler type of boot. Anytime you've got like real rocky terrain, like on my goat hunt where I needed a lot of flexibility and a lot of tack to the sole, I think it'd be a sweet option. So this is the Mammut Kento uh, GTX. Full leather boot, uh, full of rubber rand across the toe. One of the most surprising things about this boot is just how lightweight it is. It seems that you don't often get a full leather boot which is great for you know wear and tear. They obviously wear better in my opinion. That's actually this light. So this is a serious contender, I think, for guys that are looking for an all leather boot uh, that's relatively lightweight, but it's also quite stiff. So this is definitely an Alpine hunting boot, um, but it's lightweight. So I think this would be a real good option for those high country early season mule deer hunters uh, that need that extra stability in the foot and purchase into a hillside. I think this is a boot that a lot of people probably have never even looked at. Um, this was relatively new to me on my radar when we brought Mamu on. Yeah. Um, having a chance to kind of mess with it, I think this is a boot that a lot of people would be really interested in if they knew about it. So get the word out, Mamu Kento. I feel like marketing is what we need around yeah. Mamu. Yep. I'm a no on these. <laughs> it's a hard no. I'm a hard no yeah. on that guy. What is this? This is like the deep freeze boot? Yeah. Yeah, that's what this is, is all the ice and snow. It's supposed to be tacky and ice and snow. Yeah, Wasatch. That's what this is? Mm -hmm. I like it. I do too. We carry it? We do not. We don't. Nope. It's really so tall. We carry the, yeah, we carry the outfitter. Okay, which I, is this guy? Which is this, yep. <clears throat> Difference in these two is what? I mean, really it's the, the full rand. Because I'm like the back okay. of it doesn't have a back rand. Um, these are a little narrower up through here and they have these like gussets. So, I like this one. I do too. I'd I like say, how it's a little, uh, it a little more good. narrow here. It looks good too. Yep. Are you guys in the video? Sorry. No, hey go ahead. Jump in. Is this live? <laughs> yeah, live. <laughs> <laughs> I would probably only go with it just because it's Corey's pick. Because other than that, that's why. I'm not. Yeah. There's nothing about that boot that makes me excited. Well, what's funny about that though is guys in the shop put that on their foot and they absolutely loved it. Really? Yep. So that's something that we need to tell because like just looking at this boot, yep. that's not a boot that I would ever pick yeah. up and even try on. Yeah. Well, did you hear that, Neville? Make note of that. <laughs> that's something we got to tell because if you were just to look at that yeah. boot, I think it's an ugly boot. Yeah, and absolutely like when they were trying it on, like I'm like, that is crap. But yeah. like you put it on your foot and put a pant like over the top of it, yep. it actually looked So there's two things decent. there that we need to touch on. One, that it's Corey Jacobson's favorite boot. Yeah. That's what his, his recommendation is. And then two, that it's Although it may not look like much, people really like it on the foot. Mm -hmm. what are your thoughts on that one? I like that one. I mean, it's it's a it's a special use case scenario, you know. I mean, that's a that's an alpine boot. Um, I've played with this 
boot, the previous, like a previous model of this boot way back in the day, which was, and they still make one that's even stiffer than this. Um, I tried it on and played with it a little bit today. Just kind of walked around. I actually quite like it. It fits quite well. Like I think if you're looking for a, you know, an alpine stiff hunting boot that's obviously got tons of protection, it's going to last. I mean, if you drew a sheep tag and you want to make sure that you're, you know, good to go, I think it's a great option. I like it. Yeah. But like I said, it may not be for everybody, but there's a certain use case for that boot yeah. that I think it hits. So I like it. And I think it's a good looking boot. It used to be called the Ibex, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I still have it. Yeah, I it's, like that. It's super stiff, but like I said, it has a use case. Yeah. Cool, well, that's Zamberlin. So one of the brands that we wanted to explore is a Solo. So that's how I've always said it, a Solo. If you have a different pronunciation for that, good on you, but I'm gonna call it a solo. <laughs> Italian made boot, it's a pretty well-known boot. Uh, this Fugitive GTX right here has been around for ages. I think the first pair that I ever had was, uh, I was working on a sage grouse tracking project for the Forest Service back in, I think 2002. So it was like the first pair of these I ever owned. Um, typically when a company makes a product and it doesn't change for you know 20, 30 years, you can pretty well guarantee yourself that it's a quality product. So we're excited about that Fugitive. I think we'll definitely bring uh, that guy into the shop. We've got a couple other options as well that we're considering. Uh, kind of a lightweight Alpine boot. If you're somebody that's looking for a little more room through the forefoot, uh, this boot definitely had it. That's the Corax GV. And then a boot here on the end. I think it's called the Frenet XT GV. This is a boot that I was interested in. I've looked at this boot at different outdoor retailer shows in the back in the day. Most people that have tried this boot on, I'm trying to think if anybody so far in the shop uh, has tried this on and just didn't absolutely fall in love with it. Uh, I know you look a little bit like an astronaut, but that's okay. Yeah, you look cool out there in the back country when you're hiking around and if you need to flag your buddy, you can just catch that with some sunlight and flag him right in. <laughs> this is actually one of the most comfortable boots I've tried on in the shop. Uh, it's a synthetic leather blend. You've got a, a full rubber rand. It's got a relatively stiff sole. So I would say this is probably four and a half, maybe even, you know, bordering on a five as far as stiffness goes. If I'm looking for an Alpine hunting boot, uh, early season, I think this is a, a, t a contender, if you will. This is a really nice boot. One that I didn't anticipate uh, liking this much, but I absolutely love this boot. One that you can find here in the Go Hunt gear shop coming soon. I'm a fan. I mean, now that you say it, it's, it's a great point. Why, why would we not sell hunt prep shoes, just hunt shoes? Yeah, I mean, guys are working out, they're exercising and running, they're trail right. running. I don't think there's any reason why they shouldn't be able to buy those from Go Hunt. I mean, I'm buying my running shoes from a running store, you know? Right. Which is great, but there's no reason we shouldn't carry them here. Cool. So one of the uh, categories that we're looking to grow into is into running shoes. And I know when you think of Western big game hunting, you're probably thinking about boots, uh, backpacking boots, um, you know, your traditional leather rubber rand boot that you're going to be able to use on deer and elk hunts. You know, I run quite a lot. I run probably, you know, 25, 30 miles a week. It's something that I enjoy. And then I also uh, use that in preparation to get ready for the hunting season. So a lot of us around the office, we're working out, we're running, we're trying to get in shape for hunting season and we're buying running shoes. So we just thought, you know, if you're gonna buy running shoes, why don't you buy them from Go Hunt, right? So we're looking at expanding into that uh, category. Uh, we've got some here in the shop already that you're probably familiar with, like the Altras. So the Altra shoes done really, really well for us. That's the Olympus 4. You've obviously got some uh, added cushion and an increased stack height which is great for cushioning over you know a long run. Uh, the Lone Peak has been really, really popular for us as well. It's the Lone Peak 5 in a pretty cool colorway. I really like those a lot. Uh, and then some new options for us, uh, obviously from Salewa. Uh, we've got a couple of different versions of these already, but this is the drop line uh, in a new colorway for us. And then some of the new brands that you may not think of when you think of go hunt but you know like I said we're diving into that category headlong uh, is like Hoka 1-1 so you know trail runners uh, runners in general are probably familiar with Hoka it's been a really popular brand they've come on probably the last five to ten years maybe uh, really gotten popular in the last few years but they make a really highly cushioned uh, running shoe very very lightweight these things are featherweight 
Um, so you can see that's a good trail running shoe that's kind of a transition uh, even from road to trail running. Uh, that's the Challenger AT. I really like that shoe. The Speed Goat, uh, we got a couple of options from Brooks that we're looking at, including the Caldera, which is a nice little trail running shoe. And then also the Brooks Cascadia, which has been in their lineup forever. It's got a real aggressive tread, relatively stiff sole. Uh, any one of these you could do a bunch of hiking in, you can do running in, and just, you know, everything you need to get, kind of get ready for that hunting season. So we want to be able to take you from, you know, applications and that whole process through your pre-hunt prep, getting ready, working out, and then finally into your hunt with a full, you know, leather boot if that's what you're looking for. All right, so we're just getting ready to jump on a podcast where we're going to discuss uh, pretty much everything we found today. We ran through, I think, 153 pairs of boots today. Uh, is what we had total in the warehouse, went through boot by boot, uh, brand by brand. Um, we're going to pick from those and ultimately those are the boots that are going to end up in the Go Hunt gear shop. Uh, it looks like we're going to bring on a significant amount of new boots to the shop, so keep an eye out for those um, probably within the next month or so. If you're looking for a new pair of boots or running shoes to help you get ready for the season, uh, Go Hunt gear shop's got what you need. <laughs> <laughs> Good work, trail. That's right. Round two. <laughs> <laughs> Round two. And do it again. Let's go podcast. Okay.